The Team Happy Foundation coordinated a blanket drive for victims of Hurricane Sandy. And Happy Johnson, the foundation's founder, returns to Sunday Journal. How have you been? Good morning. Good morning to you, Hal. It's good to be on again. Good to talk I'm with you well. again. Yes, sir. And we profiled you on our show quite some time ago. So remind us about your foundation and the work it does. Absolutely. Um, well, the Team Happy Foundation, uh, we have one mission, and that is to inspire the next generation of first responders. And um, that term first responders is really um, a, a one that is, all-inclusive because it can mean it's really about leadership and it's really about um, exciting a new generation of these citizen leaders and to be actively involved because the, democracy is a verb, right? We have to be involved, whether it's on the street corner or in the schools or in our church. Um, I think the challenges that we face require adults and mentors to really get involved with our youth. And so we have three uh, main priorities. Our first one is to mentor youth. Um, I coach uh, a basketball team, a junior league basketball team, and so we're really involved with helping men, helping boys become men. And then the second thing we do is we provide and distribute um, emergency blankets after disaster. And then the third thing is that we publish um, children's books about hurricane preparedness and um, wetland restoration. And so um, we try to tie in this concept, which is called uh, multiple lines of defense, meaning that we must have individual and community preparedness. We must have a strong and resilient um, levy structure. And then we also must have a robust ecosystem, and that means um, large-scale, massive coastal restoration for our, our dying coastline. Now, let's get to your Hurricane Sandy experiences, and you personally visited areas devastated by Sandy. Share some of your observations. Yeah. Well, one thing, off the, off the jump, I was a little um, sad to leave uh, my home during um, Thanksgiving Day. I deployed with the American Red Cross uh, disaster relief team on uh, Thursday, November 23rd, which is uh Thanksgiving Day, and so I was kind of sad because I missed out on a lot of good food, all that Merlitan and, and uh, gumbo. But um, I had the opportunity to go and join the ARC Disaster Relief Team, which was stationed in um, in uh, in Queens, uh, New York. We were at this um, aqueduct racetrack, and from there we went into uh, the Far Rockaway area, and then also in, in Brooklyn. And um, in conjunction with that opportunity, our foundation was able to collect. Um, a little more than 300 blankets, and we were able to um, distribute them to families who were in need. So I kind of had a dual assignment while I was um, in New York, and we had um, a great support and and team members who were able to help with that mission. But I thought, and a lot of people thought, that it was important uh, for New Orleans uh, residents to experience so much uh, support and gratitude and um, just love and generosity from people from the Northeast to kind of return that that favor. Um, and so it was a very humbling experience for me because um, I know what it's like to, you know, be without consistent home or, or shelter and, and to move around a lot from my childhood. And so um, for me, it's also kind of like a, a personal way to, um, to give back and to, and to show people that we can do small things, uh, but with great love. And I've been just amazed by the response that we've gotten. Uh, we've been in the Wall Street Journal. We've been on Good Morning America. And uh, something so small as as a blanket um, has made such headways, and so um, I'm just always humbled by the response that that we're that we get, and the eagerness for people to um, give a blanket. I had one guy who said, "I got this blanket after Hurricane Katrina. Some random stranger um, gave it to me, and we were sleeping in our car. Our family shared this, and now I want to give this to someone uh, in in Red Hook, Brooklyn, who lives in the project who was impacted by." Hurricane Sandy, who's not uh, living with electricity. And so um, it's been a very powerful experience. This is Sunday Journal on 98.5 WYLD. Hal Clark's here chatting with Happy Johnson of the Team Happy Foundation. The foundation coordinated a blanket drive for victims of Hurricane Sandy. And Happy, more about the blanket drive. You indicated that you have distributed hundreds of blankets already. Give us some more about the distribution process and the additional assistance that you're seeking. Absolutely. Well, um, 
there's some research that says that um, there are two things that um, people psychologically identify with every single day of our life. When we wake up, the first thing we do and when we get out of bed is we remove a sheet or a blanket. And then to kind of carry forward with our day, we put on shoes. And so some research suggests that shoes and blankets are two fundamental things that humans identify with. And one way that we can reconnect people to familiarity after a disaster is to reconnect them with shoes and blankets, right? Those things that they identify with every day. It's kind of like, what is my normal routine in, in my life? And so um, we started out giving blankets after Hurricane Katrina, and then we replicated that model in Haiti, and we were able to provide a thousand blankets to hospitals and orphanages and shelters there. And um, and so this time we were able to do the same thing kind of on the ground, but to provide it to folks who were living in New York after Hurricane Sandy. And um, right now we're we're collecting blankets and we're sending them uh, until uh, December fifteenth, I believe, is the day we're partnering with um, a local group that has an eighteen wheeler truck. Um, that's going up to New York. And so they can find all that information uh, at BlanketBrooklyn.org is the website. All right. And if you'd like to assist the Team Happy Foundation's blanket drive for victims of Hurricane Sandy, visit TeamHappy.org, TeamHappy.org. You can call 504 315 5084 Five zero eight four. Happy Johnson team. Happy. All the best to you. Good talking with you again. All the best. Okay. Thank you so much.